Okay, let's talk about copying, moving, and renaming files in an Ubuntu server. Now, this is kind of a critical thing because Ubuntu, remember, Linux is a primarily a command line operating system that's driven by text files. So we're going to deal with a lot of text files. I'll, we've already looked at our log information being stored in text files. A lot of our configs are going to be a store stored in text files. So knowing how to manipulate those and then how to copy, move, rename, create backup copies, um, how to do that with those text files becomes kind of important. So let's start out with the idea of a copying a text file. Now before we do, I'm going to do an ls-l. Actually, let me do la so you can see everything here. And all I have in here is um, some local config files. So I want to create a new file. Now, in another video, we're going to talk about editing files using uh, some of the text editors that are available. But for this demo, I'm just going to create a new file. So I'm going to touch, and I'm going to call it file1. And that's just going to create a file for me. Now, if I do ls-l, you'll see that we have, let me get my mouse here, right here, a file named file1. Okay, let's say I want to copy that file. Now I'm just going to copy it into the same location here to demo it. And here's how we do it. It's copy, and then, don't type this, I'm just going to do this as an illustration. It's the source and then the destination. So I want to copy file1 to a new file named file2. And it's not copy, it's CP. So let's CP file one space file two. That's what I get for talking while typing. Now, if I view my directory listing, we'll see we have both files here, file one and file two. Now, I just did another copy in this same folder. I can actually copy it anywhere I want, including uh, to new locations, new folders, whatever. So I'm going to make a new directory. So I'm going to mkdr, and I'm just going to call this a temp folder. And let's say I want to copy file 1 to a new location. So then I would do copy file 1 to temp. And I did it again. It's cp, not copy cp file one to temp so now if i took an ls from where i'm at you'll see i have a directory here called temp and if i do an ls for temp you'll see that in temp i have my new file file one so and i can copy using full path names um absolute path references relative path re path references like i've been doing here so Using that cp command, I can copy things anywhere I want to. Now, what about renaming a file? So let's do our ls-l again, and let's say I want to rename file1 to file2. Well, the easiest way to do that, cp will create a duplicate copy of it under a new name, but if I just want to rename, let's say I want to rename file2 to file3, I'm going to do an mv. mv is for move. And it's the same thing. We're going to put the source and then the destination. And if the source and destination names are different, then it will rename it. So I'm going to MV file 2 to file 3. And again, this is just doing it in that same basic directory. But you'll see my file 2 is gone, and now my file 3 is in place. So what if I wanted to move it to a different directory? Well, let me MV file 3 to my temp folder. And now if I do an LSL, I'm going to see I have no more file 3. If I do an LSL for temp, you're going to see I have file 1 and file 3. Okay, so now I've been able to use copy and move to copy files to create backups of copies if I give it a different location uh, or a different name and using move to either move a file to a new location or to rename a file and that's the easiest way to move files around inside your file system now I want to get rid of them so I'm going to use rm and this time I'm going to do the whole path so forward slash home forward slash David forward slash temp and I just want to remove everything from the temp directory 
Now if I do an LSL on temp, we'll see that we have nothing left. So now I can RMDIR temp as well. And then if I do an LSL, you'll see here I have file one, but no temp. I'm back in my home directory, or I'm still in my home directory. But I've gotten rid of my temp and the files that were in there. So now I'm going to RM file one just to remove that. And now I'm back to where I started. OK, there we go. We have copied, renamed, and moved files from the command line in Ubuntu Server.